immediately, as soon as he changes the level and grabs my leg, that leg goes back, turn that hip into him, I get his head down. Because now it's much harder for him to finish there, especially somebody who's not a high level wrestler. I mean, there's lots of things you can do in there, but it relies on me just stopping and not doing anything else. All right, so as soon as he comes down, grabs a leg, Right. See how the hip, the leg he has, that hip turns into him. Now his head's down. I don't ever want to let his head get to the outside because then it causes a little problems. Uh, and I don't want to let him come up into me. Yeah. So as long as I keep pressure on his head, here, now I'm heavy right here. I just keep driving at my hip. Now I can do, I can clear, I can take his back, I can, oh sorry, good lock. I was never good at front chokes, so I always said I just want to take the back. That would make it work. So. And you're doing that down walk. Yeah. yeah. So, so again, he's here. This hand automatically goes to a wizard. All right, right, right. So you're, not, you're not doing down walk, you're doing a wizard. Okay. Yeah, a wizard, because just because he's already got the leg. All right. If he touches my leg at all, I'm bringing his head down and this leg back. Boom. I want him here. Here, it's much harder for him to finish that shot than if he's up with it, or even if he's on his knees and tight on it. That's, that, he's still in pretty good position here, so I have to get his head down to my leg back. I just kick that leg back. <sighs> here, make him heavy. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Yeah. And I just keep his head down. If you keep somebody's head down, it's just hard for them to move. I'll hold them there, I'll hold them there until the referee stands me back up. I don't care. I have you do that with one other person, so yeah. I can watch it. Who wants to do it? Who wants to get it? So, so he's on my leg. Yeah. One more. Yes, he gets to the leg. I throw that kick, that leg back. I hip in. Yeah. Right there. Okay. And some people be stubborn to try and hold on to the leg. Some people be stubborn to try and hold on to the leg. Yeah. That's where that hip pressure comes in, sure. and it really puts pressure on their shoulder. Sure. Guys, this should seem, if you did John Frankel's Universal Sprawl <laughs> Seminar, which I think was last summer, this is very, very similar yeah. to what John thought. So, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's the simplest thing. And, and if he does have his both hands locked, say I get him down to his knees, but he's still really tight on it and he's still holding it tight. Sometimes, maybe I can't get my leg back because he's holding it really tight. I got his head down. It's going to be hard for him to finish. But I don't want to stay here, so sometimes I'll go down to both his elbows. No, I'll pull his elbows when I do it. Hmm. So I hit him and pull at the same time, and that makes it hard. Mm. So, there. so I hip in, leg goes back, elbows come out. And I'll even do that if he's here. If he's up on his feet with it, or I just get heavy and get his head down. I'll pull his elbows. Just keep him up. Unless they're here, you pull the levels out. It's hard. To, hard to That's why I preach always having elbows in. Because yeah, <laughs> if somebody pulls them here, it's hard to do anything. 